first piece of that puzzle put together. Now we're working on fitting the second piece on this side. Just sanding the wood until I get it to fit. And uh, it's pretty close. Look at that view! I have to walk past that a hundred times a day. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> almost anything to almost anything else. It's the same grout as before, but in a reusable caulking gun. In fact, I think it's supposed to be for paint. You'll find it in the paint section if you want one. But that's quite handy for the small bits. That stuff is called plastic art board, which I bought in a ship big sheet and cut out that part and stuck it on with double sided tape. It's not an ideal solution, but I think it'd be a lot less messier than trying to fill all the holes around the edges. I bought a whole extra length as a spare so I can afford to cut off a little piece and practice the miter on this before I actually tackle a full one. I'm trying to make it a template here to hold that at the right height. Cutting through this wood at the same time.
Now this one here, we've got an internal, external, and even an end stop. Make sure you share and save this video because there is not one video on YouTube that will show you guys step by step how to do it and allow you to get out there and actually do it yourself. Let's get straight into it, guys. Let's do this. This is good. And now I need to go to Bunnings again to get a mitre box. A cornice mitre box. Anyway, I'll finish watching this and I'll link this guy in the video. Got it. I got a perfect corner. It's not even seven o'clock in the morning yet. The plumber's coming shortly. But I'm up now and I'm going to do my first real cut on a real cornice I'm starting on one that's supposed to be 895 inside corner which means that way and that way so maybe that way so I turn it upside down and put it in there. Now I measure my 895 from the tip there and the new tip will be there. So now I turn it upside down again. Tip is there. Tip is there. I'm going this way this time. Take that into my bathroom and see <gasps> if I was a good student on that YouTube video. Now I want an inside corner which is like that, 
Have I already cut it? I think I've already cut it. 262 to an outside corner. Two sixty-two to a corner that runs that way. So there, turn it upside down. first go I cut that one first go it took me six goes at this one and then just a little cut in here it took me another three goes at that one I cut that one first go and now I'm about to do that one and then that one upside down. And that's perfect. I'm riding on the back where it's going. Over shower. Yes. H O W E R. Shower. And Rose is going to paint them before I hang them, which I'm not a fan of, but she insists. Microfiber cloth. I like it better. So that's another job done. I'll tidy up tomorrow because it is a quarter past ten at night.
I somehow lost the video footage of me actually putting up the cornice. I know I took the video, but I can't find it. So you'll have to believe me that I put it up there and that it went fairly smoothly. Um, I used um, liquid nails, liquid nails instant grab, which has picture of cornice on the front. So it must be appropriate. Uh, a plus I used maybe four or five brad nails as well uh, on the longer pieces because they were tending to sag. But otherwise it went well and finished pretty good. I might get more light on this, hang on. So there you go, corn is finished. <laughs> Not much else to say now about the fiddly bits in the bathroom, except I'm fairly well done in here. The glass, that's the last thing to put in here, but that's a low priority at the minute. Otherwise, thanks for watching my silly little video. Please give me a, a thumbs up. But anyway, uh, another video done. I'm on to the toilet area at the moment. That's a separate video. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.